Hey, how's it going? I'm Tim, and thanks for clicking on this video. If you're here, you probably did something stupid and put a hole through drywall. Well, I'm going to show you a quick fix on how to repair this hole with a little bit of extra drywall. So, first thing, there's multiple tools here you're going to need. You got a hole saw that needs to fit just bigger than that hole that you created. You need a couple uh, spatulas or blades, I don't know what you want to call them. I am no drywall repair guy, but this is an easy one to do. You need some mud and then a drill. So I'm going to pull you closer here so you can get a close up view and we'll get moving and show you how to repair this. Okay, so first things first, we're going to take our hole saw and we want to drill out a perfect clean hole around the existing uh, beat up hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to take your drywall, your spare drywall, and, and get a little, little square out of it. Okay, now the reason why we're doing this, uh, we're going to... We're going to put a hole through here and use this as a template to go across there to hold our hole saw steady because our pilot bit won't catch anything, so it's going to be really hard to get through that drywall. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay. So now we got this hole here. So what we're going to do, we're just going to put it right up against here, okay? Now we're going to use it to hold our hole saw steady, and we'll try to drill out this hole as best we can. Alright, so it worked fairly well. And we'll clean up the edge a little bit here. That won't matter too much. <clears throat> okay, so our next step is take your scrap drywall here. Okay, we're going to hold it up next to that hole. And we want to cut another square out of this because that's what we're going to use to make an insert piece that goes into that hole. So this leading edge here, I like to do about an inch and a half out. And an inch and a half out over here too. So we'll just mark it. We'll just cut it. Then we're done with that piece. And now you're going to have this. And this will turn into an insert that goes inside that hole. So now we're going to take our hole saw, put it back in the drill. Don't know why I took it out the first time. Okay, we're going to flip this over to the brown side back here. And then we're going to drill right in the center of it. But we're not going to go all the way through. We're going to stop. We just get a little bit of a circle there. Okay, so now we're done with our hole saw. Now what you're going to do is you're going to just make little cuts just like this. And that's going to create spots that we can break. to make this piece. Okay, so now you got all these weak spots, so just turn it over and just start cracking it around the edges, but don't rip it because we want this top part. Okay, so now everything's cracked like that. Okay, now if you do it gently and then you can peel off Peel that off, same thing, and your pieces are too big, you can always cut them smaller, but we want to save this, because this is actually going to be our new cover here, and you can already see what's going to be inside this hole. Okay, so we'll rip all these out.
being stubborn. There we go. And again, I'm no drywall repair guy. But this is something that definitely comes in handy and does work. So now that you got this all done, you take your knife and just try to scrape off the big extra chunks that are on here. Depending on how picky you are, because you leave them there, you're just gonna see you're gonna see bumps in your drywall. So we're just cleaning this up a little bit here. And you can do this with any size hole. Okay. Now just check to see if it fits your hole. So if it fits perfect. This insert goes right in. And then there's your patch. But first we're gonna do a couple things. Take your mud, okay, open it up, just take your small spatula here, and mud always has air pockets in it, if you can do your best to just kind of play with it, trying to get the air bubbles out, okay, and then we, you're literally just going to just put it on around the hole. And get it in the hole too because that's just gonna help reinforce this here put all around it and what we're putting under here this edge around like this it's all gonna be underneath this guy here so when we put it on we're gonna smoothen this out like down and it'll mush it out, making it all nice and smooth. So we're gonna put a little bit on this guy. Okay. And then we're just gonna put it in the hole. All right. Now, a little wider here. You're gonna to want to get good coverage here. Otherwise, it won't work the best. Okay. So now, to start the center and spread out. And I get there's going to be some drywall finishers that are going to probably hate what I'm doing. But the job will get done and it'll look okay. So, just put a whole bunch on there. We're going to use our big spatula here and we'll make it all smooth and clean it up. So the bigger the better, there's a lot of air bubbles in this, but we're doing this a little bit quick here. So you want to feather out the edges. And you probably don't want to play with it as much as I'm playing with it because it makes it worse, but I'm trying to do it fast like this, it's not always the easiest process. So, that's pretty much it. You can let that set up and see how it looks when it dries because it is going to shrink a little bit. You might have to reapply a little bit and then redo a second coat and then, uh, you know, sand it down and paint it and you probably won't see it. 
So there it is. You got your five minute quick fix on how to fix a hole that you were stupid enough to do. It ain't the prettiest thing, but like I said, a couple of coats and sands and you can paint it into an untrained eye, you won't even see the difference. So if you would, hit that subscribe button and come back for more videos. Thank you.